Hi, I'm Brad Divens, and we're here in my studio fixing to get mixing. And today, I'm going to show you a brand new plugin from Waves called F6, Floating Band Dynamic EQ. Now, just in case you're wondering, what is Dynamic EQ? When you use regular EQ, you're basically committing yourself to specific EQ parameters that are going to stay constant over time. But during any piece of music, you're often going to have a lot of dynamic changes. For example, a singer is going to be moving closer or away from the microphone, and that's going to affect both the gain and the tone or frequencies of their voice. What Dynamic EQ does is it lets you set thresholds that will trigger the EQ, so very precise frequencies will get boosted or cut, but only during those seconds when you really need them to. So let's take a look at the F6. You've got six bands, each with dynamic control. When you click a band, you see all the controls for that particular band right there in front of you. And since all six bands are floating bands, you can drag each of them to any place on the graph so you decide exactly how much to adjust the width of each band. In addition to the six floating bands, you also have low pass and high pass. You can assign the F6 to stereo, but you also have a mid side option and gives you separate control over the mid channel of the signal and the sides. This is really one of the most unique things about this plugin, and I'm going to talk more about the mid side option in a minute when I show you how you can use the F6 for mixing vocals. Each band includes standard EQ features combined with standard dynamics features. For standard EQ, you've got high shelf and low shelf. You've got bell, frequency, Q, and gain. But then you also have range, which is how far the frequency you've selected is going to duck or expand depending on how you've set it. When the value here is negative, the frequency will get cut or compressed. When it's positive, it's going to boost or expand. Then you have the threshold, which is the point at which the EQ is going to kick in. You've got attack and release. And you can also do internal sidechain and external sidechain. When sidechaining, you can choose between two modes, split and wide. In wide mode, the selected band will be affected by the full range of the sidechain source. In split mode, it will be affected by a filtered range of the source. You can also do parallel compression, and you've got the output control. Now basically, there are a few ways you can use the F6, going from the simple to the more advanced. The simple way is to just insert the F6 on a specific channel, a vocal, hi-hat, keyboard, or what have you. Then set the frequency bands you want to affect. You can move the six floating bands however you want to. Set how much to boost or cut those EQ frequencies. And set the threshold so that the EQ will kick in. A more advanced thing you can do is use the F6 for straightforward side chaining. Like when you're working with a kick drum and a bass guitar and you want the bass to duck each time the kick hits. What I'd like to show you is a good example of a more advanced way you can use the F6, which is to use the side chaining and the mid side features of this plugin. Now let's look at a problem you might run into when mixing vocals. Now the challenge here is to create a space for the vocal inside a very busy mix. We want to carve out a space for the vocal in the middle without having to hurt the frequencies of the instruments in the sides. So this is where the F6 is going to help. Group the instruments without the lead vocal to a stereo group. Insert the F6 on the group. Route the lead vocal to the F6 through the external side chain. Set the mid-range frequency band to mid-mode and set this band to external side chain source. Adjust the band's frequency, which I've set at 1.4K, with the range at minus 9.3, and the threshold is at minus 
so that whenever the lead vocalist sings, it will duck the conflicting frequency range only on the mid-channel without affecting the sides. So not only are you ducking those frequencies on a need-to basis, you are also attenuating them only in the midsection of your stereo field, which means that you're not hurting the wall of sound of the instruments. By the way, you'll notice that in this example, the gain is set to zero, and I'm just tweaking the range so that we are only touching the dynamics of the frequency I've chosen. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of Waves F6 Floating Band Dynamic EQ Plugin. From Fixing to Get Mixing Studios, have a good show, everybody.